This is the story of how I conquered my fear of heights. Oh, that one's a little scary too. These are cougar tracks all the way up. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. Getting an early start here, going up Mount Howe as the days are still kind of shortened. So let's go. Our journey starts off in the back country of Vancouver Island. A logging road mixed with deep snow was our first obstacle. At this point, it had taken over an hour to get here from the highway, so we weren't exactly wanting to turn around. Now, someone had already come up here maybe a week before us and dug out these deep, icy ruts in the road, which made for one heck of a ride. We ended up pulling over and I took the drone out and flew it down the road to see if the snow cleared. It did in fact clear, but there was a bit of a surprise at the trailhead. Thick snow at the trailhead made it very difficult to turn around the truck. My friend had to inch his truck back and forth multiple times just to get it turned around. So we wouldn't have to deal with this when we came back. There, there, there. You can see these tracks on the ground. These are cougar tracks all the way up. You can see a little bit lower that there was no nails, no claw marks on those. And there, there was dog tracks back there too. And they're about half the size. So big kitty cat up here somewhere. So this hike has gone from being enclosed in trees, cold and dark, to sunny and absolutely beautiful. Look at this. All the way around.
across back here. That way, yeah. I wouldn't want to be on this with skis. So we are officially in the woods now off of the old road. Lucky that the ground is incredibly icy and crusty. So we can just walk right up this stuff. It was at this point we were following remnants of ski touring tracks. These must have been the same people who set in those deep snow ruts in the road up to the trailhead. Yeah, that spot was a little dicey just to walk across. <laughs> it was at this point the trail started to become quite steep. Nothing I hadn't seen before, but this was only the beginning. spot here to have a snack for the final push up Mount Howe. Cheers. Cheers. Climbing through the trees, we were still protected from the frigid winds we would soon experience. That's a big rock. A little bit of pull pulling to round off the day. A little? Yeah. <sighs> Ascending the steep mound, we got a look at the crux of Mount Howe. So steep, we just crawl up. <laughs> My friend looked up at the steep coolier and said, our path goes up there. I didn't believe him at first. It didn't look like it was possible to go up there. Now I'm no mountaineer and I know people can climb vertical walls with crampons, but this slope seemed really steep. When fear presents itself, wild ideas start running through your head. Am I gonna trigger an avalanche? Am I gonna fall all the way to the bottom? The only thing to do was to take the first step forward. Okay, let's go. Let's get underneath here so you guys can really see what this looks like. This is Steep, steep, steep. Likely an avalanche chute for heavy snowfall above, we pressed upwards as there was low avalanche risk. All right, folks, look at this. Absolutely grueling <laughs> vertical climb. We're taking turns going up here because it's just absolutely savage being at the front. Pulse tolling. It does a double pulse toll as you go up. Clinging to the side of the mountain, all you can do is take a deep breath and hope your foothold doesn't break on your next step. The more you stare fear in the face, the less power it has over your life. I can safely say that was the steepest snow incline I've been up. That's just it though, you gotta keep pushing yourself outside your limit, little bit by little bit, and you slowly progress yourself, progress your skills in the woods. And just as with my previous video up Dog Mountain, I'm not used to driving those back road, logging roads and and then more bushwhacking, out of cell range, that kind of thing. It just scares you in the moment, but it's so worth it for the personal growth you get. So here we are, final push to the summit, just up there. 
post holding all the way. Well, this mountain is being a little bit sinister to us. We have to go down here, back up. Both his next descent and ascent were tricky as his solid rock underneath the snow, which meant we couldn't kick in very deep. Oh yeah, this is breaking. <laughs> At this point, I was wishing I had brought an ice axe as our footsteps didn't get hardly even our toes into the side of the mountain. Underneath this snow and ice is solid rock, and I only had three points of contact on the mountain as I was holding a tripod in my left hand. A slip of this height would be a 40 foot fall to the bottom. Oh, that one's a little scary, too. That one was, uh, toes not going in that far. So you see, it's a freaky. You can see there's a couple of feathers that have been ripped out of something, a bird of some sort. Look at the formations on these trees, the snow, it's just amazing. after three full summits. Brutal cold up here. My God, <laughs> hands like freeze instantly. But 
views are incredible. I'm grateful for my friends that were with me this day, and I'm grateful for the fear I felt on the side of that mountain. Fear is essential to feel truly alive. One of Steve Jobs' quotes says it best. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Fear can paralyze us or it can aid us in life. The key is to put ourselves in situations where we are fearful and continually overcome them. So we're heading down now. There's a big juicy cornice here that you want to stay away from. So we're going down the super, super slick, icy slope. My friend ended up charging down the slope like a champ, where I ended up squiggling through the trees like a frightened squirrel. We're just coming down this steep stuff. My action camera died, so I'm left with this camera. Have you ever seen a boulder so big in your life? Look at that thing. So the next task is to actually drive down this snowy, icy road. So I'll be filming that for you guys. You can see my friend driving down here. It was pretty gnarly driving in. The truck didn't slip at all on the way down off this top section. The bottom section was another story. Join me in my dream to become an adventure filmmaker. If you could share this video on your Facebook page, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to support me directly, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash davidhiking. And remember, the life in front of you is always more important than life behind you.